Happy Sunday! I have Miss Reagan here in the pantry with me. Where are you at? There she is! Reagan slept in her crib and she didn't wake up till just after 8 o'clock today. That was a super big win. And when I went to go open her door, she wasn't crying anymore because that's what got me out of bed. But she was quiet and I thought, did she go back to sleep? Maybe I should just leave her in this room. But I had decided I'll open the door anyway. As soon as I opened the door, Kona came out of the room. So I guess I had shut Kona in that room all night. I feel a little bad, but at the same time, I think it kept Reagan. I guess it gave her company to have somebody there. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <sighs> so anywho, Reagan is doing good this morning. We are getting breakfast. I had showered. She's dressed. I'm dressed. I'm not super fancy, so she's getting the same thing she got yesterday. But I don't think she minds. I'm just making French toast. I have homemade bread that I'm trying to get through. And so I had cut up a piece and mixed up some eggs. And then I have it cooking here. And then she wasn't super interested in the granola, which kind of stinks because I also wanted to get through that. But I have her today yogurt with some Cheerios on top because I have a feeling she's not really going to humor the French toast too much. Which is fine, but I want her to have at least a belly of something. So she's getting some Cheerios. And then I think everything else has been fine so far. I'm going to get maybe like a fruit or something, but it should be good. This, this guy here is cooking pretty well. Maybe I'll put a couple shredded cheese bits on there, but we should be good for breakfast. I'll show you what the finished result looks like. Look at that breakfast. Isn't that good? That looks so good. All right, Reagan is still finishing up breakfast, but she doesn't have much time on her left. I want to show you something I'm going to try to do. I'm not very crafty. So this is Reagan's jacket. She had gotten this when we were in New England. Um, this one specifically came from Rhode Island. It's a very nice, warm, cozy zipper jacket. She loves it, has the pockets in it. And we had gotten it for her after we had left even her jacket at a relative's house for a couple days. And so it became a, an easy go-to replacement. Reagan has multiple jackets now today. And in fact, this jacket is sized for 12 months. So it doesn't have a whole ton of time left to fit her being that she's 18 months old, but she still fits into it really well. And she still prefers this jacket. She had pulled it out of her drawer once um, just a week ago. And that's why it's downstairs because she wanted to wear this jacket. And I had put it on her and I totally had forgotten it broke, the zipper broke. And so I went to take it off and she was upset. So it's just been one of those items that I feel like I have to mentally throw away, but I am having trouble throwing it away because it, it reminds me of the trip we took and it was a lot of fun. And I think it's a cute jacket and then it looks really nice and cute on her. And it's not really that sophisticated, I just enjoy it. But one of the reasons it is broken is when it went through the wash, I think it was when we had done a, a different travel plan using the hotel washer but the zipper itself had broken off and I didn't know at the time that the zipper I found in the wash was part of this jacket, but then it kind of made sense after the fact. The other thing that really stinks and is broken about it is this zipper track is not fully intact. Some of the pieces came off. So even if we replaced the zipper, it's not gonna zip up. And I am not crafty. I don't sew, I don't know how to do any of that. I do know if you take a piece of string and you so as far as um, weaving into the fabric and coming back out and into and back out, I know that is a stitch and therefore that is sewing. But in terms of getting buttons back on the clothes or sewing up stuffed animals that have torn, I'm not very clean with it. I don't know how to hide fabric. I can sew maybe messy because I can just like watch at the end how to tie off a knot, some video or something. But as far as how they pull the string and then the fabric kind of tucks and under and hides and you don't see the stitching, that's not something I can do. I can't do any of that. I'm not crafty. But I pulled up some YouTube videos and I guess replacing a zipper is not too difficult. But basically you have to at least get the zipper off the jacket. So I am going to kind of sit here 
and see how far I can get in the process if Reagan lets me. And I'm just gonna try to cut off uh, the stitching of this zipper because I figure if we do take it somewhere to get it professionally fixed I don't know what that cost is and if it's worth it, but also I don't know I know at the very least they're gonna get this old zipper off So I figured I could try that and then if it's just a matter of making the fabric look nice again We can go from there. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work But I figured I'm gonna try because at least it's not going into the trash So I'll keep you posted Okay so I got both sides off. Now it looks like a jacket without any zipper. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little impressed with myself because I was looking at my jacket in my hand compared to those on YouTube and I had felt a little apprehensive as if somehow the way this particular jacket is made that it was gonna be harder to take apart, but it turned out to be very easy and rather clean there's only a few stringies every now and then that won't come out and i think it's because they're probably holding fabric that's a little bit more than the zipper track and so i'm just trying to leave those alone and not get too particular about them if they are kind of not coming through but as far as everything else this guy is good to go i thought like would it be easier me who doesn't know how to sew would it be easier to put a zipper track back in or would it make more sense to maybe put buttons and snappies just to give this jacket still the life it deserves to have i don't have a sewing machine i'm not that interested in acquiring that i don't think this is going to be more than just a small project but I don't want it to have the potential to be so good and then my lack of, I guess, supply is what kind of fails us. So I'm gonna maybe find out and see if, maybe if Erica and Heather wanna go look for a zipper track. I'm not really sure. I don't, I'm still kinda not really sure what I'm doing here, but let me kinda give you like a sky view. I'm happy to report that Reagan has finally fallen asleep for her afternoon nap and I am pretty tired myself. I think I might fall asleep but I do believe that Erica and Heather are going to be reaching out very soon to see if I am ready to go get them to do the library in the store which stinks because I'm starting to feel so tired. So, Heather, yes. what did you get? The shiny. <laughs> you got a library card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. I gotta follow this kid. <laughs> she loves the library. That's so good. Hold on, Reagan. I don't want to chase you. I was doing an interview. Yeah. This is a circle. <laughs> but yeah, I got a live break. How do you feel? Good. Welcome to the county. Thanks. Okay, Ray, we're coming. Get Lead the way. <laughs> Erica, where are we at? We're at the park. We are at the busiest park I've ever been to in coming. Um there's a lot of stuff going on around us. There's a ton of kids here. There's like a bunch of sport games because they have, like we're at the park, playground area, but there's a bunch of like soccer fields, baseball, there's like those uh, net things where you just stand in the thing by yourself and you just hit the baseball that comes flying towards you. It looks like a bunch of people are practicing and playing other teams and it's just a really good day to be at the park. Whee! You want out? All right, we'll get out. You'll have to go explore other stuff. You gonna go through? Come here. Come here. Oh. 
Good job, Reagan. It's what? Does this do anything? No. Oh, oh it does? Oh, I didn't think it did. I've never had two people though. Alright, alright, I got it, I got it. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what's happening? Good job, lady. You got that. Keep going. I'm I'm right here yeah. supporting you yeah, and right? cheering you on. Come it's on. getting pretty tall, but you got it. You got it. Come on, right here. Yeah, right here. Good right job. Here. <laughs> See. Here you go. Look at your hair, Miss Static Girl. <laughs> Go, go, go! I know, we're in trouble. <laughs> so after a long day, me and Reagan are finally home. Eric and Heather are here. I explained to Erica about my zipper project, and so we had gone to Walmart and to try to look for a zipper. And I have to report all they had was an attached zipper, such as dress or jeans, where it's not meant to open up the way a coat does. And so the only options without going to another store or placing an order online were a black track zipper with either a silver metal piece or gold. And I have been sitting here with these little pliers, which is not the right tool. And I have managed, I'll show you this,